So we're here for the Annapolis Boat Show. I think there's about 50,000 people that come here. There might be more, I don't know the exact numbers. Everyone that might know us is definitely here. This is extremely intense for Elena and I. In our little niche, this is ground zero. Yeah. This is where it all happens. So From getting to the airport into an Uber to here, like already so many people have recognized us and um, this is like, it's gonna be a really crazy week. We thought that we'd document that. We did choose to come here though. It's one way we can give back to our followers. We love seeing faces because you know, when we're away on the boat, we don't, we don't see you guys. So it's also exciting, but mayhem. It was going to be mayhem. Now that we've landed in Annapolis for the iconic Annapolis Boat Show, over the next 78 hours, we would not only be taking on the main event in all its glory, but hosting the first ever International Cruises Awards, which was insanely fun. For the next few days, we'll be showing you a behind the scenes look and a completely different perspective to our lives. Stick around for a really raw and kind of insecure episode. At the end, we'll give you our honest opinions on what it's been like going from anonymous sailors to, I really hate saying this, but famous sailors. Like people are looking in the windows and that's the truth. Yeah, I know. People might not like hearing that. Come on then. Should we go find Lenny? What's happened to my bed here? And Elena just started cracking up. So Darwin had a mystery remote this morning and we were like in here in the bathroom. <laughs> it must have been for this bed that just comes up. Who even sleeps like that? All right, I'm off to bed. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about public speaking and being in a crowd? You look so beautiful with your red hair against that white pillow. Oh, thank you. I love public speaking. It's like a bit of an impulse thing. Like, no one really loves public speaking, but the feeling that you get afterwards, it's like you're just high. It is, it's the best feeling because it is such a, a big thing to overcome. Like, the anxiety before, like you feel like you could vomit before. And then once you're up there for 10 minutes... I'm like in the zone, love talking to people. I feel like I'm like an entertainer. I'm having so much fun and it's just a buzz. So I hate it, but I love it. I can relate public speaking to the first time Riley and I met and he asked me to come sailing with him indefinitely. It was one of those things that you know is gonna be really hard and scary, but you have to say yes. I get really nervous before these events, especially I haven't been drinking alcohol lately. I'm gonna be going up there stone cold sober and it's terrifying. Ever seen you in a tux? Let's do it. Nah. Nah. Pink? For you? For you. <laughs> Normal size neck. Are you happy with your choice? I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I know you are. Good. What are you gonna wear? I don't know. It needs to match you. This is so last minute. Yeah. <laughs> the colour you picked though is pretty safe. The colour you picked. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then you get to carry the bag and you're all set. Thank you very you're much. You're welcome. Hope things go well with you for it. Thank you. You're welcome. Blue. A bit pretty. Try them on. outfits picked for tonight's awards, it was time to head home to refresh before heading into the boat show in downtown Annapolis to make our first appearance. We'd also go and see La Vagabond II, which Jack is in charge of now. We haven't seen our boat since she's had a total makeover, so this is pretty exciting. We are so excited to be here at the Annapolis Boat Show. Day one has been bonkers. It's incredible. There's so much cool stuff to see, but this boat's the coolest. Welcome aboard. Let me show you the boat. Come this way. Alex has been fixing the boat for us. Just grabbing my hat. Don't mind me. Go that way. Look at how pretty that bed is. Look at that. Bathroom. 
This is the master suite over here. It's huge! Big cabin. This is where the magic happened. So this is the first time we've seen La Vagabond in three months. really sad. This isn't my home anymore. Uh, Jack, is it just going to be you sleeping down here? Uh, just me. Edda's got her own over there, so... Okay. Yeah, yeah not enough room for the both of you in here. But this is so no, cool. This one's He's done a really good job. We laughed at him when he said he wanted to turn this into crew quarters, but he yeah. proved us wrong, Jack. It's very livable. For the Lenny and Darwin obsessed people out there, if you're wondering where they are right now, Rachel, or Ray, who's been helping us out with the kids, is actually from Annapolis and she offered to take the kids to her parents' farm for the day. We knew they'd have much more fun here than they would at the boat show. Are you ready to go to the water? Yeah. We were really lucky to be surrounded by such wonderful people during this time. Next, we went to set up for tonight's event. There was a lot to do in only a couple of hours. What have we got, Jack? This is a box of our first, first box of Vagabond Adventures shirts. Aw, sick. Nice. Little on the front. I am gonna wear one of them. Big on the back. Awesome. Sick. See this these? is for me. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Have you seen these yet? No. Oh, I'm... okay. How many did you order? There's 72. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why 72? Is my part central? Actually. God damn it, Elena, is my part central? <laughs> Are you going to be ready? Yeah, I've just got to put a dress on. How are you guys feeling? Like, nervous now. You are. I was so cocky this morning and now I'm like, my heart's in my throat. <laughs> I'm not super nervous, but it's public speaking, you know. Bloody central now. James Momoa. I need to put on 40 kilograms, <laughs> cover myself in tats and get a New Zealand accent. Ooh. Yeah, boy. Look and fly. Yes, man. Looks you should see her later. She looks great. You look amazing. What do you think, Tom? Mm, yep. Do a twirl. Are you going to fall over? Dunning. Nah, I'll be fine. I feel ridiculous. Like, I never dress like this. Yeah, you've, you've really crammed four years of not wearing anything until <laughs> one night. See, we're dressed up Bye nice guys. and fancy. we got to do some stuff. See you soon. So it was pretty sad leaving the boys. Darwin woke up just as we left, which is always super hard. Ah, so that was hard leaving the house, but we're out now. Riley and I went over our notes for the show, so we just have a piece of paper. So we kind of prepared as much as we could, and the rest is just, yeah, who knows what's gonna happen. How are you going, guys? Good, you guys look awesome. How are you, man? You look beautiful. Good, thank you. You look beautiful as well. Good grief, this is so much, isn't it? Ta da! I don't want to match up your suit. So. <laughs> Tonight was the night, the first ever International Cruisers Awards, put on by us and Young Cruisers. The awards were broken into 12 categories, and the awards were created to celebrate and highlight exceptional people in the cruising culture and recognise the hard work of content creators. It wasn't an easy contest to win. With over 34,000 votes and hundreds of cruisers competing for three weeks prior to the event. <laughs> Did we mention it was an open bar? We could not wait to see how the night unfolded. We just needed to get the hard part out of the way so we could finally relax. It's weird because there's one microphone so we're going to have to be going like... Oh, really? Yeah. There should be two. It's got to be two. <laughs> so happy to see you all. Can't wait to meet one of you. I'm Caroline. I'm Logan. And I'm Brian. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 International Cruisers Awards hosts, Riley and Elena of Southern Nevada. We're presenting the presenters who will then present the awards. Luckily, it was a pretty easy crowd to please. We had everyone from OG cruiser Lynn Party here, professional sailor Nikki Henderson, who we crossed the North Atlantic with, and a lot of inspirational upcoming sail bloggers. It felt humbling, and in a way, it was like we'd arrived or we were at home in this community. Uh, I guess I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone for coming, for your support and keeping YCA alive. Cheers, let's have a good night. <laughs> These three we're standing with are Logan, Brian and Caroline, who are the founders of the YCA and we're super grateful to be a part of it and to call them our friends. You can become a Young Cruiser member for free, even if you are, by number, not particularly young. I'll pop the link in the description below. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, were you? Yeah. yeah. Burning up, man. I'm not used to wearing shoes. <laughs> we switched the camera off for the after party, but as you can imagine, it got pretty rowdy and I kid you not, at one stage there was a tattoo gun. Not sure if I was allowed to say that part or not. Anyway, the highlight was clearly our taxi driver on the way home. <laughs> grandfather is smiling. Is he? Yeah, I never mind. He got my grandmother pregnant and then he rolled. He rolled. He rolled, yeah. Today was our first official meet and greet at the show, so we made our way in via a much needed coffee stop. We were unsure how many people would be coming today. A couple of years ago, we honestly had a line down the street and all of the other stalls either side of us got annoyed because we were clogging the traffic. So we were expecting some kind of chaos today. It's actually real. That's a real pumpkin. Are you meant to sit in it? I feel bad. Is someone planning to eat this? What if you pull up? <laughs> I'd like to let everyone know that no pumpkins were harmed in the shooting of that shot. The line already goes that way. Like they're lined up already. That guy you just saw was Jeff Bark, who helped organize our events at the show, and all the other sailing YouTubers. Massive shout out and thanks to this guy. <laughs> really nice to meet you. Like I said, I, I see myself, you know, because you have two boys and I have two boys, and I can say thank you for bringing me over. Thank you very much. Thank you. And good luck to both it's of you. Fine, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you all here to see to meet Riley and Elena? Yes. yes. Amazing. Are you excited? Yes. It's a pretty big queue. It's a bit of a queue. Yeah. What's this little person, little human's name? Lola. Lola. Are you going to get one of Elena's books? Oh yeah. Brought my 20. Perfect. <laughs> Do you want to hold it? Yeah, I can hold him for a photo. Oh, you're so little. Hello. <laughs> 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 How long have you been following them for? A couple years. Two yeah, years. probably two years. Yeah, who's your favorite, Riley or Elena? Riley's funny, but Elena's like sweet. I like it. Wish you were here, Leanne. Next <laughs> time. This is so awesome. She's okay, there break. you go. And now we can take a photo. Thank you. No Thank you so for waiting awesome. in line. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Now he's a true sailor. Read the Oh hi mate. How are you going? Hi. Thank you. Everybody wanted to take a nap. Oh my gosh. Even. <laughs> they were good. Good. It was a long day, but yeah. <laughs> it was. It was actually. I don't know. This time it's been really, really manageable. We must have seen. I don't know. It was definitely over 200 people, but they. It's quite well organised. So they they cut the line off. So there's like not a whole bunch of disappointed people behind. For me personally, the only thing that I needed to worry about was like my smile. <laughs> After a certain amount of time, I'm like. Just grimacing, like rictus. It's uh -huh. kind of horrible. My cheeks start to hurt a little uh, bit. It doesn't look like a smile anymore. It looks like, <laughs> a, like a dead dude. Just like. How are you feeling after all that? Oh, I, I'm so tired. Yeah? Yeah, I want to hop into bed. I'm 
tired. You were out partying last night, darling. I also partied last night. Mm. It was worth it. Not I. <laughs> Very clever. I cried like three or four times. And the book? It was really special. Everyone was so happy about the book. I'll put the link to in the description below if you want to buy it online. It definitely gave me energy, but now I'm drained. I need a rest. We're gonna watch a Disney movie tonight with the kids. Before we head to our Patreon event today, just a reminder about our merchandise store. If you're struggling to find a Christmas gift for a fellow friend or family member, and they're a regular SLV watcher, we have express shipping from the US, and maybe a shirt or a signed postcard might make them smile this year. I'll put that link in the description as well. Good night, everyone. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. I got some stuff for your boys. This is a book. Yeah, when I was a kid, it's called Look Out for Pirates. It was my favorite book as a kid. Wow. Okay. It, 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 yeah, it's. It, oh, the cool. pictures are. You'll, yeah, it's, it's a cool book. Thanks, You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now this was a much more intimate, chill event for us, which was really needed after the past two days. We hosted this meet and greet at Jeff's wife Cameron's pottery store, which was super quaint and there was a brewery right next door. I really just wrote this for the boys and yeah, I'm glad people are actually buying them. We love Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, come here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What's your names? Michaela. Your name? Kyle. Kyle. How long have you been following them guys? Two years. What was it, like 2018 maybe? Something okay. like that, yeah. And how long have you been following these guys for? Like three years, yeah, probably. Yeah, three years. Three years, what's your name? Indigo. Are you excited to meet uh, Darwin and Lenny? They should be here soon. How was it? It was great getting to meet a lot of like-minded people and uh, seeing how Le Vagabond has brought so many people together. It's like the Brady Bunch in this house, trying to get ready to leave the house. We're about to go and see Le Vagabond for the last time. What's wrong with Lenny? I just told him that we're moving off the Vagabond and um, he got quite sad. I, I've, I've explained the story to him lots of times but I don't think he's really understood until probably just now. Right. Damn, what a beast! I'm already dirtying your shit. <laughs> How was your week? Um, yeah, it was, it was a lot. There's a lot of socialising. We made some great friends though, and some great business opportunities came out of it. Potential sponsorship for the future, and it's always worth it coming to see you guys. Like, it's just energetically so draining. Half a dozen really, really beautiful moments with people that had stories that made both Elena and I tear up um, on several occasions. And then some other times with, with close friends that really aren't in the one location until there's an event like this. Being sailors, we've just got disparate friend groups from, you know, eat all, all four corners of the globe. Um, really, which really is good flat. ones, so yeah. it's, it's amazing. Like, so I think what people are really interested in, or the main thing that they ask us all the time, or the, the thing that they're getting at when they're asking us the question, is how much do you get recognised? A lot, all the time, going to the supermarket, coming back from a yoga class, going for a dinghy ride, going to airports. Like, airports are massive, hey? Yeah, airports are like the hot spot. <laughs> and obviously, it's it's not like it is here at the Annapolis Boat Show. I think we've said that about 10 times. Yeah, this is but, up a notch, but... But marinas, you know? Oh yeah, like I, I, get, I definitely get social anxiety. Like people are looking in the windows and... Knocking I, on the doors. Yeah, you never know when someone's gonna pop up, because they do all the time. So it does give me social anxiety, but I, I'm learning to deal with it more and more. And and really, that would, would that be social anxiety or um, it is. So the like, fear that some somehow you're being watched? Both. We're pretty yeah, 
we try and be pretty safe with giving out away our locations and whatnot. That's the truth. Uh, yeah, I know. I might I, people might not like hearing that, like other sailors and and other people out there. But I guess that's sort of how Elena feels. I don't know. Yeah. It's tough, but we've never had more fun and we've never had more incredible opportunities and met insanely awesome people. So it's all worth it. Line. That's, pretty hard. That's not bad, Lenny. Look, Darwin's trying to bounce too. So the first thing, Lenny came out here to bounce on the tramps, but because they're new tramps, these ones aren't so elastic. They don't have any bounce in them. And he was shocked and devastated that he couldn't bounce on it. This is just so sad. And you had to do that. What dance is that? How has your time on board been? Oh, it was so fun. It wasn't really on board, but I know what you mean. It was, yeah, it was, you know, Spain, Norway, all of everything. I'm really gonna miss these guys. Genuinely. Yeah. As you can see, we bonded. Can I have a hug, you guys? Can I have a big hug? Ray Ray's last day. No. I love my babies. Thank you, Rachel, for becoming a part of the fam for the last three months. We're going to miss you.